just a normal family. A little awkward, sometimes weird, loud and crazy. Wait, did I say normal? Oops, my bad. Stick around. Get to know us. We have Cheyenne and Tyree. This is Savannah. I'm Michelle. And this is The Shell Bill Life. Michelle here welcome back to my channel and today as promised is an update video let's just jump right in so the first thing yes I did have surgery and I know a lot of you were asking me what was the surgery about I am okay nothing's wrong I had like exploratory surgery maybe within the next couple of months or towards the end of the year I don't know it's, I may have to have a hysterectomy I'm not gonna go into more detail a few of you have been asking me about updates on Cody and I know I told you guys that I would give you updates as I found out updates so you guys know Cody was a puppy that we had we got him from my aunt her two dogs had a litter of puppies so we chose this one name him Cody brought him home and he was so cute he was a puppy so we did know what we were getting into kind of but at the same time I don't think we knew the extent of damage that puppies can cause and so after thought and consideration, my two younger ones weren't happy about it, especially Tyreek. We decided to give Cody back to my aunt and a lot of viewers were really upset and were saying that, you know, oh, you know, I should have paid to have him trained. I didn't tell you guys the full entire story and I still may not right now because it's neither here or there. You know, we made the decision that we thought what was best for us and it's not like we left him on the side of the road. We didn't take him to a pound where we knew he was going to be killed. You know, if no one didn't want him, we returned him back to my aunt and his canine parents. So if we're bad people for that, then I guess we're bad people for trying to do the right thing for the dog you know so anyway so we did give Cody back to my aunt and Cody had a hard time adjusting there even though he was with his canine siblings he kind of caused a lot of trouble my aunt's dog his name is Max Cody's brother he attacked Max and Max had to get surgery on his private area and after that happened he attacked Max again at the same spot so Cody was just causing trouble there. We don't know if it was because he wasn't used to being around them and used to only be in the center of attention. I don't know, but he was acting up here and showing signs of aggression a little bit and just certain things. And I, I don't know, we just, I just felt it's safer and it was better to give him back. So, you know, my aunt took him back and my uncle, they really wanted to keep him in spite of all this and even now I'm not telling you every little thing that he did there my aunt and uncle made the decision that they took Cody to a place where he's going to get adopted he's going to get more attention with someone who is more capable and equipped to handle that type of um, situation with the dog so that is the update on Cody so other than him being turned over there I don't know if my aunt and uncle know if he's been adopted or anything yet so he is alive he's living he's hopefully have been adopted into a family that they can handle how he is and love him forever and yeah so that's the update on Cody and the update on Boston you guys so after the whole Cody situation I was like you know what I'm done with animals I don't want to see another dog in this house no way uh -uh, uh uh never again so I do like animals I'm not a huge animal lover but I do like dogs you know and so after a while we were like it would be nice to have a dog running around the house again. So I started doing my research because I didn't want to just jump into something. It's going to be the same situation. Oh, here's a dog. Lived with us for a couple of months and returned them. No, they don't deserve that. So we went through this agency where we were to become foster parents. And if it works out, we can keep the dog. And if it didn't, then hey, he'll be adopted out. And then we get another one, something like that. So I thought that would be best for us. Austin has been with us since February, I think. February or March something like that and you guys I just want to let you know Boston was adopted by us hi Boston 
Boston. Yes, you guys, I know some of you guys have already guessed, Boston has been adopted by us. We knew very early on, he's looking at Savannah, because Savannah's in here. Um, do you want to go? Oh, you know he thinks Savannah is his mother. Anyway, you guys, so yes, we made a decision. We adopted Boston. We knew very early on. Boston was here maybe a week. And I'm like, this dog is my dog. He's not getting adopted. And yes, we had to go through the process of going to those. Oh my goodness, look at these. Uh, make sure these don't get in his ear. Anyway, we had to go through the process of signing all the papers, all that stuff, going to what's those things, an adoption event on Saturdays twice a month, which you guys, we only went to one because I knew, I'm like, hey, this dog is mine. I don't want anyone else to adopt him. He may not be the cutest thing, but he's cute for us. And so what I realized is with our family, with us, we needed a dog that was already older, already mature, already, someone had already put the work in. Boston, I mean, you tell him, get out, sit down, lay down, roll over, whatever you tell him, he pretty much listens to. He's a good dog. You could tell he kind of had like, he had it rough. I don't know if I told you guys the story. So he was owned by an older couple, husband and wife. When the wife died, the husband wasn't able to take care of him. He gave Boston and his brother, Boston's brother to a family member where she put him in the backyard. She pretty much just gave him food and gave him water. Didn't really communicate with them or communicate. She didn't really play with them or anything like that. So then I'm glad instead of giving him up to a pound, she turned him over to the Cocker Spaniel Rescue that we found Boston from. And that's how we found Boston. He's so good. He's such a good dog, you guys. He he listens active when he needs to be active. He is older, he's nine years old. So Cocker Spaniels, from what I was told, can live up to 19 years. He's just, he's just a really phenomenal dog. He is so perfect for us, you guys. I'm so happy we found him. I'm so glad that I decided to wait. When I first got him though, Tariq wasn't happy because Tariq wanted me to get some pound puppy dog, is what I called them, and Pitbull and these dogs that you know, you don't really know their background. And yeah, we really didn't know the background on Boston, but I don't know, it just, to me, it made a difference. I did go to the pounds, to Front Street Animal Shelter and the places like that to look for another dog, but I am i don't know. If I don't get a feel like, hmm, I can see this dog and I can be alone with this dog and not be afraid of them, I just wanted an animal that I can feel comfortable and safe around. And once Cody started getting older, I did not feel that way. That's why he was crated a lot because Cody did not listen to me. Cody did not listen to Cheyenne or Savannah. Cody would only listen to Tyreek. And I think him and Tariq made that bond and made that connection. And when I got rid of Cody, when we gave Cody back to my aunt, Tyreek was the main one that was really hurt over it. But I'm like, you know what? You are not here all the time. You don't have your own place. I fear he's going to attack me because I'm trying to tell him to get out of the kitchen or to don't chew on that paper or something like that. So with Boston, it wasn't that way. And yeah, you guys, we just, I. I love him, what can I say? The only time we crate him is, usually at night, Savannah lets him sleep in her room, but sometimes Savannah doesn't want him sleeping in her room, so we'll crate him at night. And that's because I think his sleeping habits are flipped, because he sleeps all day during the day, and then at night he wanders, he'll take like cat naps, and even when I had my surgery, when we were sleeping out in the living room, I would hear his feet on the hardwood floors walking around. So that's the only reason why we crate him at night, because I just don't want him wandering, because he has discovered the garbage can. Mm -hmm. He's a dog, okay? And so he will go in and he will get stuff out, and he's like, ooh, food, ooh, chicken bones, ooh, this, you know? And I don't want him making a mess over that, so that's the reason why we crate him at night. And then usually during the day, then he he roams, he you know has the roam of the palace. So yeah, you guys, Boston is ours. Signed the official paperwork, and actually he's been ours for a while. I just haven't you know said anything because I haven't been really blogging. And sorry, you guys, you just know how I am. So anyway, I promise you guys an update video. Here's the updates. So you guys know Savannah graduated high school, so she is going to attend college, and I totally and behind her 100% on that. You guys know how I feel about the whole college thing. If they choose to go to college, great, fine. 
If they choose not to, great, fine. I will back them on any way, any decision that they make. This is for their life and their career. She has chosen to go to college because she wants to be a psychologist, psychiatrist, one of those things, I'm not sure. She starts actually August 20 something. Um, she's taking online classes right now, um, fully online classes, but yeah, my baby's in college. What else, any more updates? Cheyenne, Satariq? Kinda Tariq, no. Nope. So yeah, you guys, that's all I have to say for now. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.